Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Over the weekend, I had the chance to catch West Side Story with my friend for our annual New Year's movie tradition. I have a lot to talk about with you guys today and I cannot wait to get started. Get your dancing shoes on and let's discuss West Side Story. West Side Story is a 2021 adaptation of the 1957 musical and 1961 film. The ethnic rivalry between the Sharks and the Jets has gone too far. Ignoring their differences, Tony and Maria fall in love. Their romance causes more disorder than happiness. I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy the new adaptation of West Side Story. Turns out, I ate my own words. While some aspects of the film were slow, the new adaptation of West Side Story is a moving, astounding, and vibrant film that accomplishes new risks. The cast of West Side Story achieved incredible ranges, exuberance, and studies of their character. The only actor who I had mixed feelings about was Anzil Elgort. He felt misplaced to me. I didn't see him connect to Tony until the middle half of the film. His singing voice wasn't as strong. Once he found his character, Elgort was outstanding in his emotions. Hands down, Rachel Zegler is extraordinary in her debut performance. Maria's growth and confidence were beautifully evoked by Zegler. I was floored by her singing voice. I wish Zegler all the best at this year's awards. Elgort and Zegler were wonderful together. Aside from the height difference, which was distracting at times, these two characters are given a better chance to evolve. I had a better grasp of their characters and their motivations in contrast to the original. An ensemble of notable actors fill in for parts as Jets, Sharks, and other roles. Rita Marino returns in a significant role. Ariana DeBose did a spectacular job, especially in the song number America. Other credits include David Alvarez, Brian Darcy, Corey Stoll, Mike Faist, and Josh Andreas Rivera. One role that I was happy was given a bold change was Anybody's, played by Iris Mines. Portrayed as transgender, this character emphasizes how social images have changed over time. Steven Spielberg did not miss a beat in his direction. Portrayals were genuine, he made changes when needed, and he examined the story closely. I especially liked how he worked with the cast, determining the right motives in each scene. The story took some time to get into. I noticed that some of the scenes in the beginning copied most of the direction from scenes in the original film. As it progressed, the film evolved into its own rhythm, finding its story. Songs and dance numbers were practiced and choreographed with high energy. Song numbers include Tonight, Somewhere, and my favorite number, Officer Krupke. Shout out goes to Paul Tazewell for all his beautiful wardrobe designs. They were shown off in the highest degree in all the song numbers. Cinematically, West Side Story is a stunning film. I like how the camera followed the eyes of the characters. The locations were great too, traveling significant parts in all of New York City. West Side Story is an impressive adaptation that breathes life. This is a film for a new generation. We needed this new adaptation of West Side Story. A lot has changed over the decades for better or for worse. Based on the modifications assembled for this film, these changes indicate how we have evolved. Change is possible. If you have doubts about the new adaptation of West Side Story, I recommend that you put it on your watch list. It is so worth it to capture this fantastic experience. Thanks for catching my review of West Side Story. If you have seen this film, what are your thoughts? Award season is here. Who's excited? I know the Golden Globes are supposed to be on tonight, but I'm confused if they're airing live or not. Either way, I look forward to hearing the winners. Join me next weekend where I'll be reviewing Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, a favorite of mine from my childhood. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.